Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you all to part 4 of the Android Note Taking application development with Firebase. In the last part, we connected our Android application project to the Firebase and we also created a navigation draw. So let me show you what we have done in the last project. So this is the project that we created in the last note called Fire Notes and we had created this navigation draw and added these menus and added this header with the text here and so on so and we had left off without uh, handling this click here so i'm gonna do that first so let me go back to the android studio here and open the file that we need so in the main activity i'm gonna handle the click on this menu button here okay so to handle the handle the menu i need navigation i need to implement the interface from the navigation view so let me go here and implement the navigation view dot on on navigation item selected listener interface once i add that interface i need to implement the method that is required which is on navigation item selected listener so i'm gonna click here and it is going to implement the interface automatically for me or the method and inside this an uh, on navigation item selected method i can check which item is clicked and based on that i can display the ma message or open the new activity okay so uh for now i'm just gonna display some message whenever the button is clicked i'm gonna use the switch statement because we have so many menu items so it is better idea to use switch statement with the get item id and inside whatever the case for now i'm just gonna display the uh, default case and that will display the message is coming soon okay and finally here i need to select set the uh, on navigation item selected listener to the navigation view so navigation view dot set navigation item selected listener and i need to pass the activity where i want this navigation sele item selected listener to listen to okay so now if i run this application we will be able to handle the click on the navigation menu on the navigation draw okay the application is running here and i'm gonna go to the navigation draw and click on any of this item and it's going to display this coming soon message for now we'll be displaying this coming soon message but uh, as we progress through the application development we are going to implement all of these buttons as we required in the program okay so uh, in the final application you may have noticed we also have the on options menu here so for now i'm gonna go here and uh, implement that that on option menu but in the final project i have not actually implemented that but uh, we may implement this in this uh, video series by the end of this video series okay so for now let's go and add this on options menu here with the three dot right so to do that we need a menu resource file so in the menu directory here i'm gonna go and create one menu resource file let's click on menu resource file and I'm gonna give the name as options menu, option menu, click on OK. Now I'm gonna drag and drop one menu item that is going to be displayed in that option menu and the name is settings. Okay, and give the ID as settings. Okay, now in the main activity, I need to implement that so to implement the on options menu we need to implement two more method here we need to override two method one is on create options menu to display the options menu in the activity so here i need to inflate the menu xml layout that i have created just now so by using menu inflator class i can create a i can create an object of get menu inflator and now i can use the this instance of inflator to inflate the layout that i have created in the menu directory so i can access that using r dot menu that is resource dot menu and the options menu and here i need to pass the instance of menu object okay so this will display the menu in the activity but we i also want to handle the click on that menu so i, I wanna display something when somebody click on that settings menu so i can handle that using on options item selected so i need to override the method called on options item selected now using the 
get item id on this menu item object here i can identify which button is clicked on the option menu so item dot get item id is equals to r dot id dot settings that means somebody has clicked on the menu on the options menu so i'm gonna display setting menu is clicked All right so now if i run this application we will see the menu as well as we can click on that menu item and that will display this message okay the application is running here and you can see we have options menu now and if i click on this it will going to display the menu that is settings and if i click on that it's going to display the message that i have set here okay so far so good now uh, let's go back to the main activity and in the main activity we have this content main layout right and in the content main layout we have given this recycler view so what we're going to do now is I'm going to create the design for the notes that is going to be displayed in the recycler view, right? So for that, we need to create the custom view layout and we're going to inflate that to the recycler view for the each item. Okay. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm going to go here and display the final application that we have. So this is the final application. And once we logged into the applications and we have these uh, view layout for the uh, recycler view right so these uh, this is our items in the recycler view and these are the nodes and its content it is displaying so i want to design this now so for that we need a custom layout so i'm going to go back to the layout here and create new layout resource file and uh, i'm going to give the name as node view layout you can give any name that's not a problem and click on ok okay now i need to design the layout that i need for the item to be displayed in the displayed in the recycle view but uh, designing the all the component here will take a lot of time so i'm gonna design it in the background and i'm just gonna paste the source code here so that uh, you can also copy so that it will save some time and i'll leave that source code in the description so you can go to the our github repository that i have created for this project and you can get the source code and copy and paste it here as well so uh I'm going to copy and paste the source code that we need. So this is the source code we have for our layout. So I'm going to copy this from here and paste it here. But I'm going to explain it what I'm doing here. Let me go back to the text view. So initially we have changed this linear layout to the constant layout. And then I have added one more card view inside this uh, constant layout and which will contain the one text view that is used to display the content as it has the ID of content here. And we also have another card view here. This is the another one for this uh, title. And inside that card view, we also have one more text view that is uh, displayed for the, that is used to display the titles. So as it have here. Okay, and we have this vertical menu here and make sure you have this icon created here in the uh, drawable folder. So we have this menu name, uh, vertical ID icon name called I see more word black, right? So make sure you have that here. Otherwise it's going to display this line in red. That means you need to create that uh, icon, okay? But you may have this here because I have added this uh, in the last part. Okay, so this is the layout that we're gonna need. And also one more thing, in this uh, root note card, we have the ID as well called note card because I want to display the random color here in the note card whenever the uh, the note is whenever the application is open. Okay, so that's uh, that's why we're gonna add the ID to this note card ID to this card view here root card view. Okay, so this is our design. Now let's go back to the main activity, and here I'm gonna implement the recycler view. So first thing I need is the recycler view variable. So recycler view. And I'm going to give the name as the note list. Okay, so note list. Now I'm going to assign the resources for the recycler view. So here, note lists equals to find viewer ID, added ID. And let's go and see what, where, what was the ID of this uh, recycler view here and uh, I think I have not given the ID for the recycler view so I'm gonna give the ID now 
note list okay so this is the id for our recycle view that we are going to use here so let's get that using the note list okay now uh since we don't have the data in the firebase right now and we have not actually learned how to insert the data into a database all those things we have not touched the database part yet so i'm going to create a adapter here and with the sample data i'm going to display the sample nodes in the um, main activity so that we'll uh, we'll learn how this is going to work and how we are going to display the data and random colors as well so so for that i'm going to create one package here called model so click on right click on here go to new and package and i'm going to give the name as model and make sure it is in uh, all uh, small letters click on okay and inside this i'm going to create an adapter for our recycler view and it's gonna um, uh, you know uh, let me just click okay and we're gonna extend the class inside here recycler view dot adapter and here i need to uh, add the view holder for this adapter so view holder okay it is displaying in the red because we don't have this view holder created yet so click on view view holder and click alt enter and it's going to give us the option to create the view holder so click on that and our view holder is going to extend the recycler recycler view view holder so recycler view Oh, sorry i forgot the extent keyword here recycler view dot view holder and we need matching constructor for this so click on matching constructor and now we also need to implement few methods that is essential to run this ad adapter so implement that those are on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count okay so if we uh talk about this on create view holder we're gonna we're gonna uh, assign the view that is going to inflate into the recycle view item here. So I'm gonna create new view, view, and uh, I'm gonna get the uh, layout inflator. From the parent uh, view group. So click on add the parent dot get context. We need parent context here. And I'm gonna inflate the view that we have created in the layout for this recycler view so layout r dot layout dot we have the view called node view layout and we need to pass the parent view group where we want to display this uh, layout parent and finally the false as the we don't want this to attach to it okay and here i need to create the new view holder that is inner class that we have created down there and pass the view as the parameter so on create view holder is used to create the view for our recycler view where we'll display the data and in the on bind view holder we're actually going to bind the data to this view that we have just created we'll do that later so and in the count we're going to return the number of item that we want to display in the recycler view so since we don't have that data right now i'm going to leave it to zero for now and let's go to the top of this adapter and here i'm going to create the constructor for this adapter so that we'll we can pass the data from the main activity when we'll implement this adapter. So uh, what I want to do is I want to pass the node content and the node title from the main activity. So for that we need a list. So I'm going to create custom list and there I, want, I will pass the I will uh, insert the few node title and few node details and we'll pass that to this adapter and we'll display that in the uh, recycler view. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to create uh, the list of string here. Let's, imp let's import the string so name of this list is titles and we also need one more list for the content of the note content okay and uh, inside this constructor i'm gonna assign the i'm gonna receive the data from the main activity whenever we create the object of this constructor and will assign that to the titles and content here so to do that i need to pass the parameter that i want to receive from the other activity when we create the object that is title sorry it is not a string it is actually list of history so string title and 
list of string for the content and now i'm gonna assign the data so this dot titles equals to title that we have received and the this dot content equals to content this keyword used here is going to point to this uh, current class here the instance of current class and uh, so uh, this means adapter the titles that means it, it's going to reference to this title and the this is going to reference to this content variable that we have created so this is just a basic object oriented concept if you are familiar with i don't need to talk about so let's go back here in the get item count and here i'm gonna uh, return the size of the array or list that we are going we, we are receiving from the another activity so that we'll have the correct number that we want to display in the recycler view okay so titles dot size and that's fine 